You're listening to the Smash Bros. Cast, the only other Smash Bros. podcast on the internet. This is episode 32. I'm your host, N64 Josh. Player 2 is Nightcrawler. What's up, dude? Hey, how's it going? It's going good, my friend. It is going good. Well, let's uh, get this thing started. Guys, we do this show live on twitch.tv slash N64 Josh, 2 p.m. Pacific Standard Time on Fridays. Come hang out. It's a good time. You want to get yourself a free book from Audible? Go to audibletrial.com slash SBC. Pick up something awesome like Console Wars, Ready Player One. There's some good stuff out there. It's audibletrial.com slash SBC. The chair I'm sitting in is from OP Seat. If you go to n64josh.com slash OP Seat, you automatically save $10 at checkout. The chairs are all $50 off for this weekend, and they have free shipping. It's a huge value, so don't miss that. That's n64josh.com slash opseat. If you're curious about the size of the chairs, like why is one master, one's grandmaster, it's literally just the size. If you're a large human being, get the grandmaster. If you're a small human being, get the master. That's it. That's it. So there you go. Um, You know what? It is time for our countdown to smash. Take it away, my friend. All right, we are 48 days and hours away from that midnight launch. So seven weeks we will be playing Smash Ultimate. We're finally under 50. There we go. Yep. Finally under 50. Man, I am excited. I'm I'm very excited. Very excited. So, Smash Bros. news. It's, it's been a little slow. You know, there's not been any directs. There's not been. There's not really been much of anything. Nope. Right. So we got EGLX coming up, pros and not so pros playing ultimate and uh, Saturday, the, what's the exact date? You just have Saturday right here. Let me, Uh, that will tomorrow. So I think, no, hold on. I got it right here. Here's schedule. uh, The 27th. I think 26, 27th and 28th. So their countdown on their website, we have a link to it is, is uh, six days and 13 hours till they get started. Okay, so kind of funny. Let's see. I have I have a tweet opened up that the some of the people that are going to be on this thing, like um, Greg Miller, right? Like there's there's a handful of pros. Like allies going to be there, and then you got you, Hungry, Hungry Box too, I think. <laughs> yeah, and then you've got you've got like Greg Miller and uh, and just some other like YouTubers and things like that. So. The, prepare for some beatdowns at this. Uh, I do believe it does say at random, so they're going to be paired up at random. So you you never know. I'm sure the at random is going to guarantee that it's a pro with a not so pro. Hopefully, <laughs> I would hope. Otherwise, that's just that's just mean, cruel, and unusual punishment. You know, I mean, there can be some fun there, right? There can be. <laughs> There can be... Here's this game that you only get to play right here, right now, and we're going to put you against a pro, and they're going to kill you in two seconds. Go! Yeah, have fun with that. So, But yeah, we did see uh, Vicky Kitty tweeted out. She'll be one of the commentators there, so that'll be that'll be next week. We'll be checking it out. We'll be watching some of it live, so maybe uh, maybe even host the stream or whatever so we can kind of watch together. And uh, yeah. And then in as far as Smash news, like Smash Ultimate, the Smash Ultimate menu theme dropped this week and i gotta say that bass player is killing it he's killing it all right so we're gonna play like 30 seconds of it right here You know, all these years I've wondered what happened to that bass player from Seinfeld. Finally, he got himself <laughs> another gig. He's playing on the new Smash Bros. game. Like, good for him. Good for him. But no, that 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 thing is uh, it's it's rocking. It is rocking and rolling. So um, there's so a full two of, minutes of it. Two minutes and twenty seconds, actually. Yeah, but kind of surprisingly, it's not up on the music page of the the Smash Bros. blog, which. I mean, I was only able to see it. I had seen it on Twitter, which is what we have a link to. I just, I'm, I find it kind of surprising that it's not there on the the Smash blog, but I don't know. 
from the little bit I've done of, of looking around, it is officially launched, but it was like they just said, oh, hey, here, somebody take this. <laughs> you know, like... Here, you don't have this. <laughs> <laughs> like, this is strange PR. Here, make this go viral. Yeah. Have fun. I mean, yeah. it, it... I mean, it's Nintendo PR, so... It kind of they, works. They do what they want. Yeah, they do. They do, and it kind of works, so... Well... Moving right along into the Super Smash blog, we are, let's see. We're picking up on the 14th. That's Shulk, right? Yep. You want to take it away? Sure. So we got fighter number 57, Shulk. Uh, he is the only fighter that can change his status during battle. His sword, the Mondo, allows him to switch between five modes, jump, speed, shield, buster, and smash, which... Uh, changes his abilities for a short time. Fun fact, uh, Shulk's eighth color variation puts him in a pair of swimming trunks. Which has always been entertaining. <laughs> <laughs> which I think, didn't, didn't, we get, uh, didn't we get a bathing suit uh, costume selection for the uh, characters in Xenoblade 2, I think, on, uh, I think just in-game? In I think so. Maybe we'll probably see that, hopefully, when once we get Rex and Pyra in in smash what did you just say I, I th i'm pretty sure they patched in as part of the the dlc stuff for xenoblade 2 swimming suit stuff for all of them just like what? just like uh, shulk has swimming trunks on who needs this stuff uh i don't know <laughs> people that are that into rpgs i, I mean it's entertaining but not necessary but pe people get excited for that kind of stuff oh okay yeah not this person uh anyway moving right <laughs> along we got our pokemon from from 10 15 it's marshadow i don't know it's a mix of a uh like a marshmallow and a shadow or something i'm not sure but here it is the pokemon can hide in the shadows when it finds its target it will emerge from the shadows and deal a powerful punch when there are multiple opponents it may change its target between punches so you'd better keep an eye out Dun, dun, dun. Now you know two Pokemon. Two, oh, dude, this I'm gonna. You can you can impress Mel. Yep, I'm gonna impress Mel on on Tuesday with this. On Tuesday, one. yeah. <laughs> uh, next up, we have Flash Man Stage. Okay, and this is Keichi Okabe's arrangement. Featuring a fresh guitar part that kicks into a nostalgic tune. Now, here's what's interesting about this. And this is for our boy Destina, who's the co-host on the other uh, other podcast, the Nintendo PowerCast. This, this guy did the arrangement for, uh, or the music for Nier uh, Automata, which is one of his favorite games. So, kind of cool. Kind of cool. So, here we go. Flashman stage from Mega Man 2. Once again, the music does not disappoint. Uh, it's basically this. It's gonna happen. I'm carrying my switch around everywhere as a as an MP3 player, like the biggest awkward, most awkward yeah, MP3 player ever. But I mean, I don't know that I'm gonna be able to help myself. Like this music is just too good. It's just yeah, too good. I might have to invest in a, a, a Bluetooth uh, receiver thing to plug into the the bottom for the, the type C port. I think, don't they make those so you can use wireless headphones with them? Yeah. Yeah, they do. They do. 
I do. It's a good call. It's a good call. Throw your switch in your backpack and let it melt in there as it overheats. <laughs> you know, I don't know. Get a fan, get a fan or something. <laughs> Who knows? Yeah. All right. Next up is one of the people I like to fight least in this game. Go ahead. No, no you're forgetting something. Oh, uh, that's right. I scrolled stage, too far. Yeah, we had a stage as well. So Green Greens is the stage. Uh, stage based uh, on Green Greens from Kirby Dreamland. Uh, wispy woods the tree in the center blows wind to the sides you can uh, eat the apples it drops to recover health or you can just pick them up and throw them at your opponents this is a uh, I think this has been in every single smash I'm pretty sure right wasn't this stage in 64 as well why do you ask me questions that I'm... you assume I know like because you're supposed to, you're supposed to know these I, things just I, because I I'm... look <laughs> We're doing our best to fake it. You can't throw me under the bus like this, all right? I'm pretty sure this, this stage has been in. This is one of the original stages from every game, of course. Yeah, yeah of course. There, there you go. See? Yeah. I, I, I teed it up for you. Right, and then I get tweets. You, This was not in this game? That's what's going to happen. All right, that's what's going to happen. Where is it? We need a, we need a, smash, a smash Oracle yeah. <laughs> to uh, fact check all of our stuff live. <laughs> All right, you somebody can do the pull up, somebody pull up the wiki and just you can, double check everything. You can do the next one because you can't read the following one. So, <laughs> All right, so we have fighter number sixty-one, Cloud. Uh, he's the protagonist from Final Fantasy VII. Uh, uh, you can also select his Advent Children outfit. Uh, so charging up his limit gauge increases his special move abilities and uh, aids you in landing a powerful hit. Was Advent Children, like that movie. Uh, you're asking. You're asking me about. I've never touched a Final <laughs> Fantasy game. I will. I will probably pick up Seven when it comes to Switch, <laughs> just because of what it is. And I, but I've never touched a Final Fantasy. Don't know. Mister Cool Red Luigi says that is not an original sixty four stage, if he remembers correctly. So, okay. The the mystery continues. Yep. So the only thing I want from Cloud is i want him to look like he i want yeah die more by cape that (laughs) happened a lot this week (laughs) shout out to super nintendo for uh not using probably asleep right now not using that air dodge not using the air dodge so um but there's a there's a cape montage on my instagram if you guys want to check it out but uh he what i want to see from cloud is i want to see the way he looked in the original final fantasy uh, 7 game on the ps1 like I would love to see that look where he's just kind of like way bigger polygons and just, you know, doesn't look nearly as, uh, as crisp. I'd be, I'd be down. I'd be down. So next up number 54 Palutena from Kid Icarus says with her wings and staff, this goddess's attacks cover a wide range. With her up smash, neutral special, and side special, she can create a ranged attack in almost every direction except for directly beneath her. Keep up the pressure on your opponents from a distance with a ranged attacks. With ranged attacks. There you go. So, there you go. Is she going to be your new main? That's what you were saying earlier, I thought. Why are you shaking uh, your head? No. What? What? No. I like, I need to be a little bit closer. She's, it's just all defensive kind of move. Like I know she's strong in the right hand. The right hands are not my, my hands. So no. Hey, <laughs> Mr. Cool Red Luigi has stepped up as the Oracle. Green Greens first appeared in Melee. Wispy Woods was the 64 Kirby stage, which that I definitely knew. Potato, that. potato. So, <laughs> I mean, there's a tree <laughs> and grass. It's pretty much the that's same. The, that's the first stage in every single Kirby game. <laughs> a, all tree, time. a tree and grass. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, that's the Smash Bros. <clears throat> blog for this week. Let's get to our talking points. We're going to just talk progress for starters. Man, how's your uh, how's your progress been this week? I know you've probably put in more time this week than, uh, than you have in a while, right? Yeah, I mean, I gotten on probably three or four nights this week at least um my fortnight has suffered because of it but uh that's gonna be moot at the point of december 7th so i don't really care we can we can just focus on smash but uh but yeah i mean the the discord is popping every single night 
I mean, there's there's people that are on playing. So there's if you're looking to play, uh, either working on something or just getting in. We were doing team battles and and one on ones and all sorts of stuff. But it was it was a good time, and I feel like I've I took the time to sit down and watch. I, I actually watched the Eyes Off Smash video on Corin a few times this week, a little bit more, and was paying more attention to what capabilities I can work on and and have those guaranteed uh, true combos and all that kind of stuff that I can guarantee those percentage points to rack up so that you can just have a have a better overall game. So I, I've seen seen some benefits from it already. I know our games have definitely changed. Like, just each time we've we've uh, uh, popped the game in to play a few matches, like mm -hmm. it's not the same. It's it's not the same. Like, I actually kind of want to go back and listen to some of the old like first episodes, but I'm also really scared to. You know, <laughs> it's like I'm probably going to be yelling at myself the entire time. Like, what? Just call it what it is. What is your problem? Don't you know that? But I mean, hey, we didn't. We didn't know the we didn't know the lingo. We didn't know we didn't know anything, and yep. it's all been a it's all been a, uh, an extremely fun learning experience. And so, um, matches have been like my four glory matches, totally different, right? There's I, I I'm I'm winning way more often. I didn't I didn't check my percents each week or anything like that. But like, I'm having a lot more fun. And even if I'm even if I'm losing, I'm still like oh I could have done like I'm seeing my mistakes i'm seeing where i could have improved i'm seeing what you know what could have been better i'm trying to rem i'm trying to use um utilize the flood a little bit more I'm trying to utilize the cape like i did but but it's just it's all stuff you got to just kind of mix up like the uh last few like the um a few matches this last uh this last week have i have ended a couple of them with like double spikes you know like mm -hmm. and I and you had set that up by by teasing them with the cape a little bit before you were able to lure them into the spike. Exactly. And yeah. Mixing up your game was able to to allow that to happen. Well, and the other thing too is like you know what's it's. I heard it multiple times, but a lot of people say the most important, like one of the most important things that you will do when you start progressing in Smash is you will stop watching yourself, and you will start watching your opponent and start anticipating what they're doing, and so that's what that's what's starting to take place and periodically i run off the edge and then i have to i have to get myself back on or i i think i'm i think i'm further away and i go to like do my dash attack because i want to try to hit that two frame where it sends them flying but it doesn't it, it it doesn't always land and sometimes i'm closer to the edge than i realize and i just literally run right off the edge you know and then i'm tumbling down and i got to get back up on stage it's not, not not a huge deal but a lot of that comes from just watching my opponent that's allowing things to happen. Like I'm landing back airs while they're falling. Right. I'm uh, it, like when you and I are fighting, like it's mm -hmm. such a chest match. And I know we say this week in and week out, but like you have that counter that can literally end me. And oh, yeah. so it's always like, okay, I'm going to jump up and I'm going to wait till you throw the counter. Then I'm going to throw my up air. Right. Then I'm going to start the up tilt or whatever, depending on, on where we end up landing. And so, and that's the other thing that's been helpful too, is like, I'm not always focusing on that down throw because it's gone. It's going away in ultimate. So I'm trying to like, I'm trying to be a little forward thinking with my Mario style, like of like getting used to that kind of chipping away at the, at the, uh, at the health and, and then, or at the percentage. And then, you know, one of the things that like, um, I can't remember was, I don't remember if it was this, if we, if we talked about this or not, but like one of the things I'm doing is throwing that, uh, throwing my nair more often. And if they go into a shield, I'm grabbing them immediately. If, I, if it connects, I'm immediately throwing a jab, maybe two, maybe three, and then I'm back out and ready to attack again. So where it's like, I'm just chipping away at percentages, you know, utilizing, uh, um, utilizing fireballs more to to space myself and 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 things like that and so the next steps for me are like okay i really want to focus on spacing I really want to work on baiting my opponent and to like you know there were a few times like when i was playing with super nintendad and uh 
he, I had caped him a few times. So then in his attempt to dodge my cape, I jumped up, caped, knew it would miss, but he still, he, he was trying to do something. To uh, yeah, not... he, 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 wolf, he tried to fastball <laughs> below you or something like that. And then, and, yeah, and it still, it still got the kill. Right. <laughs> and so just, I feel like, I feel like you and me playing that with your capes and your spikes and all that kind of stuff has, has mixed up how I approach coming back to the stage and I'll almost try to fast fall below you and then utilize my second jump and then my up up special as well just to make sure I'm staying away from all those potential attacks. <laughs> Plumber in the chat says, I'm so going to get destroyed playing Smash. I hope if I play single Joy-Con, I'll have some sort of an advantage. <laughs> here's Okay, here's the thing. Like, that statement alone of like, I'm so going to get destroyed in Smash. Yes, plan on it. Plan on it for the first six months i mean we've been we've been at this for for seven months almost and maybe even a little longer than seven months but really only like i've only started playing it every day i i played some but there were some weeks that was like oh did you even play no i didn't play like it was like you know what i mean <laughs> yeah, we i mean were we were bad podcasters yeah <laughs> like we just we we weren't it, it wasn't it wasn't happening and so like it, it's that if you want to get better, it's just like anything. You just got to put the time in. Mr. Cool the Reedy says we're all going to get smashed. And it's absolutely true. We're all going to get it. We're all going to get destroyed. And it's it's a matter of like play competitive, you know, play, play uh, sweaty. And then if you start getting just beat down all the time, switch it up. Go into a four player with items and, and get into Discord and just laugh and have fun. Like that's the beauty of this game. It's not like it's not like Street Fighter where it's like it's all sweat all the time. You're not really, you know, you're not gonna switch it up to a party mode, but it's like you can post in the Discord, like, hey, I just need to unwind and 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 goof around and do some eight like can we get an eight-man smash going, you know? And it's gonna happen. There's gonna be enough people in there that it's it's going to happen. So just that's that if if i can encourage anybody like just plan on getting beat down and then put the time in like put that we're all going to be learning our characters again there's going to be things that we're all going to be learning we're going to be trying to learn new characters that nobody has played before like inkling and simon and that kind of stuff we we have no clue we have no clue how it's going to play so just be patient be patient with yourself and let like you may not be getting the wins in your matches, but set small goals that are wins for you. I got a stock off this person. I was able to um, to land a spike. I was able to do a four hit combo that I've been practicing, right? Like look for those little opportunities that it's like, yeah, this, I mean, you know how satisfying it is when I go into like l- learning that jump cancel. And then when I go into a match and pull it off and that's how I finish off a match with it. like. It's, it's really satisfying. You know what else has been very satisfying is teching in this. Like, I've started doing that far more often and doing the tech roll. Like, you're right back into the fight so fast, and your opponent a lot of time can't even react fast enough to it. Yeah, so I've, I finally built a, a custom stage uh, just yesterday, and I put the, I put the, the lava all over the, the sides and the top. I need to probably expand it up just a little bit higher to give myself a little bit of of room to to practice it but i've been working on on the timing on on teching so that i can work on that just because i know that is such a it's a small minute kind of thing that is crucial to like raising that to the next level so i'm i built the custom stage and and the best way that we've when we've talked to people about it they've said it has to be has to be learned offline and it's only really relevant to use in a live on the same console non-online match so it's something i want to want to work on so that if you try to back air me into the into the stage i can hopefully tech out of it eventually and and we can continue the match because some of those some of those uh big tournament games when they're when they're playing they're able to the it could be over so quick with some of those those back airs and and smashes that they've had but if, if you tech correctly then you can prolong it and you can keep going so it's it's something i'm i've been working on i've also been uh i'm feeling comfortable enough in my my move set now that i'm starting to work on movement so i've started working on foxtrot and perfect pivots and some of that stuff and i feel like i'm not quite there yet with how i'm manipulating the sticks but i'm 
I'm starting to get the feel for it and just continue watching videos and and working on it when I'm when I'm in game when I'm working on those on the custom stage when I'm teching all that kind of stuff just just trying to work on how you move and that the the perfect pivot especially and using it to get in and out just can set up so many different moves and I think it's going to be utilized for a lot of different characters it'll be it'll be really good it's unfortunate like don't spend a ton of time with it because it's not going to be in ultimate <laughs> yeah it's it's perfect pivots going bye bye but um dashing is is different in in uh ultimate like you can you can do things out of dash so much quicker like the matches are just going to be so 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 much different because right now that whole jump cancel thing it's it a lot of you guys probably know what it is, but if you don't, essentially, if I'm running with Mario and I turn around and then I hit my up smash, there's a whole animation of him like throwing his arms, sliding on his feet, then turning, then throwing the up smash. Like you're there's you're you're gonna get smacked. There's no way it takes it's so many frames to pull that off. Well, if you do this jump cancel, you run, turn hit jump and up smash and you immediately turn around and throw your 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 up smash backwards like yeah, it's, it indicates it's the slide the slide animation complete, the, the couple frames that it takes there and i mean in essence that's what perfect pivoting does as well but that's going to be going away like you said and so what i've done to pull this off with cuz not all the characters have it with the up smash some do some don't so what i've mm -hmm. done with mario is so that i can use the stick uh, i have my i have i set a jump button to the z button so I'm jumping with Z for the for the cancel. I'm not using that for everything, just for the the cancel. But there's I've even pulled my my pointer finger over and hit Y with that if I need to. The the biggest thing is just making sure I'm hitting straight up on the stick. And since you're moving so fast, that's where it's like just practice. Just jump into training and do those jump cancels over and over and over again. You know, I had somebody in my stream. They're like, "Is all you do train? Like, do you ever actually play the game?" <laughs> and I'm like, I, I do. There's just, I just have so much to learn that I like, I like to spend some time each morning learning, practicing something and then, and then jumping into it. And it's, I mean, it's one of those things. It's super easy to like overthink and like to just look, I mean, this game to me has always been a little bit, uh, overwhelming as far as how much there is to learn. Right. And look how long it's taken to but now I finally feel like I have a grasp of it so much so that I, I feel like I can even start trying other characters. It's just a matter of kind of learning what their combos are, you know, spend some time doing that. But, but for the most part, there's so many just foundational things and so many basics to this game that you just kind of, you do one of them for a while and then you log it and then you do one of them and you log it and you just, you just keep, just keep adding and adding and adding to that. And so, you know, stick with it. And the beauty of the switch is going to be able to play it handheld on the go. You know, it's not the GameCube controller, I know, which, hey, speaking of GameCube controllers, I ordered the white uh, Smash. Japanese import. Yeah, Japanese import of, from the from the Wii U. I had it. I got it for sixty four dollars. Right. It was like a it was like a sign. So I'm, I'm pretty excited for that. It'll be here Monday. So that, that'll be that'll be fun to mess around with. But but I mean, just 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 stick with this game. Right. Like it's really going to boil down to like. Are you going to play Fortnite? Or you're gonna play Smash, <laughs> right? Yep. I mean, that's what you've had to do right now. It's like Fortnite or Smash. That's what I had to do, and so. Uh, but I'm having so much fun. Like I'm having so much fun, and it's been crazy. I've even run into some. Uh, I've run into some of the pros in For Glory. At least, let me rephrase that because you never know if people are just using the exact same name. But yep. from what I can tell, I went and did. I went and checked it out. The avatar matched, the name matched, the way they played matched, and it's like, oh, this is this is this is kind of fun. So, um, it's probably gonna be a little harder to do when Ultimate comes out, and there's like you know 10 million people all playing, <laughs> playing at once. But but right now it's been uh, it's been it's been pretty cool. So, um, but then like you said too, just the amount of uh, the way the community is growing, like. If you are looking for people to play with that will help you get better, like nobody's going to laugh at you. If you are struggling with something, the way our community is set up is that like one, you have to be willing and if you want to, to take advice and be like, Hey, this is what you're doing wrong. Like I've had to hear it a ton. You're jumping too much. You're jumping too much. You're <laughs> jumping too much. 
right? You're still jumping too you're, much. You're jumping too much. You <laughs> double jumped off the stage. I know I did, you know. But it's it's all like we're trying to all help each other grow, and that's what's been so cool. So whether you're on 3DS or Wii U right now, like like jump in and get some get some games. And I don't know, is it worth it at all if you don't have either of those to play Brawl out? Like, uh, I've so I've I've booted it up a few times since we've we've started this podcast and kind of playing more more Smash, just being aware of it, and I. I've noticed how I've improved playing that game. I mean, it's more... That's going to be more neutral game work if if that's what you... Which is not a bad thing to improve on. Um, it's the most important aspect of the game, really. Yeah, so I mean, if 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 you have 20 bucks and you have a Switch, I mean, Brawl Out for right now. Online is a little... It can be dicey a little bit sometimes, but I mean, it's... It's there. It's very kind of limiting right that, now. I, that's good preparation for Nintendo, probably. <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, it's it's something. I mean, it's something. If if you got nothing, that that is something. So take it take it for the what it's worth, I guess. Yeah, it'd be, I mean, yeah, it'd be. It'd be do, you, do you have a you have Do you have a physical copy of that one? Did you end up picking that one up? No, not yet. Not yet. I almost did yesterday though because I was like, oh, I wonder. I wonder if this would be good to test it out, you know. Yeah, because so. I, I have it. I got that. I think on the the week it came out. And yeah, I, I've had fun with it a little bit, but I have not played a ton of time with that game. Right, right, yeah. So, um, kind of some exciting news. We want to give a shout out to Gabe from our Discord. He basically surprised both of us this week, and uh, we're going to Genesis now, thanks to Gabe. He's like, hey. I got. I'll cover your your flight, your room, your food, everything. Come hang out. So, <laughs> I'll put I'll put Team Gabe on my shirt. <laughs> yeah, we're going, we're going to Oakland. Oakland in February. Yeah. He's we're gonna we're gonna register everything. We're gonna we're gonna play. I mean, my goal is to get one stock off the person I'm playing against. That's that's what Gabe. He's like, I, if I can get one stock. <laughs> So I'm like, that's a good goal. That's a good goal. Yeah. Would you say your goal is that you're not gonna, you're not going not, to uh, not SD, not and, SD. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I hope, I hope by that, what, 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 we got three months. I hope in three months I'm a little bit better about not killing. My, I've, I've gotten better about not SD. And so it's it's a win win for me. If I lose right away, there's so much content to be made. It's gonna be amazing. If we get to play for longer than like a couple matches, that's gonna be super cool as well. You know. But really just getting to know that community and, you know, the, the, the community at whole, you know, as a whole and just at large, it's going to be, it's going to be so awesome. Like I cannot well, wait. So, yeah, and especially just because that is, it's the first super major of ultimate. It's going to be, I think rule sets are going to, I mean, if you go back and listen to, I think they had the tournament organizer on the high percent podcast, one of the early high percent podcasts. And he was talking about just the excitement that comes with the community as a whole and other tournament organizers coming together and they're going to decide on a rule set and they're going to have that kind of established. I think they said they wanted to have that within the first three or four weeks of ultimate being out. So early January, they wanted to have the rule set kind of nailed down so we can, we can kind of as a community understand what the rule set is going to be and, and see what the, the life of ultimate is going to bring with, with how competitive smash is played. Final smash meter. Yes. No, I, don't know. I think, I think well, the big consensus is no on that one. Yeah. More than likely. Uh, Leo says that's his neighborhood. So that's the other thing while we're there, we are going to plan a meetup so that, you know, anybody that is in the area, but isn't going, you know, we can we can all get together and with our switches get some get some uh, some Smash games. I think it's gonna be it's gonna be a really really good time, and I cannot I cannot wait. I'm really really stoked. So, um, guys, the best thing you can do keep like I said it last week. I'm gonna say it again. Look up these Art of Smash videos from Isos Smash. Like they are, they have been like crucial to my improvement in 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 my gameplay and the other thing like leo in the chat here he posted he said hey i went and started watching pro players of toon link and it's he's helping him improve his game you know so that's that's kind of where we're at if you guys um 
the other thing is I'm doing viewer battles every morning at 4 a.m. Pacific Standard Time on twitch.tv uh, slash n64josh. If you guys want to jump in for those, we're doing two out of three. You don't have to sub. That's what's funny to me. They're like, I've had people are like, oh, do I have to sub to play you? I'm like, no, you don't have to sub to play me. <laughs> like, let's just, you know. And so... Um, that's been adding more people to the discord and stuff though. It's, it's been growing, it's been growing the community that way. So, you know, if you got friends, whatever, let them know about the show, let them know about the discord. Like we just, we all just want to get better and it would be nice. Like, um, if, you know, anytime somebody posts, Hey, do you want to play? If there's somebody that's available, you know, that there's so many of us that that happens. So, um, you know, it's n64josh.com slash discord is where, uh, is where you can find it. So I think that is, oh, lastly, we want to talk about the tournament. Okay. We are going to do a tournament. We've got, we're going to give away two copies of smash, uh, ultimate. Okay. Shout out to Gabe again. He hooked us up with a copy and, uh, we're going to, we're going to pro provide a copy. There's going to be two ways that this is going to go down. We're going to, we're going to wait until November. Okay. If the beta drops and we are able to do at least one V one matches in the beta, then we're going to do the tournament through the beta of ultimate so that everybody can compete on the same, right? If that doesn't end up working out, let's say there's only like four glory or, you know, not, you can't play with friends in the beta. Then we're going to do a Wii U and a 3ds tournament. It's going to kind of, it's going to be, it, you don't have to you don't have to pay to get into it. The 3DS is going to be a little bit different. It's going to kind of be the honor system, maybe snapping pictures with your phones or something, you know, so that we know who who wins and who doesn't. But you know, it's just there's going to be a little little bit of uh, honesty having yeah, to go. Well, I, th I think go we'll look there, into so. maybe setting something up on like challenge or something like that. Oh yeah, for sure, for sure. So, so. It, it'll have ways to both both parties verify and all that kind of stuff. But we'll 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 kind of hammer out details and get something put together but hopefully i mean we were we were talking a little bit before we started the recording um but i i heard this kind of rumor wise and it kind of matches up with what we've been talking about for a while with uh date wise with november 2nd being the controllers and all that kind of stuff and you were talking josh how you think that they're going to going to announce the the smash test or whatever we're going to call it um in, in preparation of those being released so that it'll drive up sales. More people will go out and buy the the adapter and the GameCube controller and all that kind of stuff. And mm -hmm. then you're thinking the 10th is going to be, like the weekend, 9, 9, 10, 11, maybe is going to be the uh, the Smash beta? That's, I mean, that's kind of my gut feeling, honestly. Because yeah. it, it, if they do that, it doesn't overshadow Pokemon. If they, yep. if they don't, I can't. I just can't imagine it being because cool, the weekend after Pokemon is is Thanksgiving weekend. So right. I don't see that happening either. No. And then we're just getting super close to launch day. So I do see either the second, the weekend of the second, or the weekend of the tenth. But I also think that um, the rumor I had heard, and I don't know if this is somewhere on the internet, but I heard it from a guy at work that the, there's rumblings of a Halloween direct. And so we were talking a little bit before we started recording that that would make complete sense if the unnamed mode is truly spirits mode and how how cool that could kind of tie in with with halloween if that's a and that's a that's a wednesday morning kind of uh direct that we would get that i think would be interest interesting if that if that was the tie-in with with the spirit mode or whatever it is so what do you what do you think of that i mean it's it, halloween's the middle of the week it's a wednesday you know, so it's not, it's not unheard of. And, uh, you know, and even if it was the, even if it was Tuesday, it would still fit in the whole Halloween spirit. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So, um, either way, I think, I think there's a pretty good chance. And, uh, uh, honestly, I think what Nintendo really needs to do with smash is do a direct around that time. Not it doesn't, They're going to do it. Here's what I think is going to happen. There's going to be a direct that's going to talk about Smash. It's going to talk about Pokemon. Let's go Pikachu and let's go Eevee. And possibly talk about uh, Mario Kart Tour, the the mobile app. Possibly. Is that supposed to be this year? This fiscal year. So it could happen. It so could happen. April. Yeah, it could happen in, in March or whatever. Um, but then 
uh, they during that during that direct they need to incentivize people to pre-order smash on Black Friday you know there needs to be there needs to be something that they do because that's when people are out shopping right so when like get give them some like get some pre-order bonuses for this game we know Best Buy has the coin but that's that's kind of it as of right now so like that that window between the beginning of November and and Thanksgiving like I'm hoping there is a huge push like maybe even the week of Thanksgiving maybe we even see a commercial like a like like commercial goes out on YouTube in the front of YouTube videos uh maybe on the football games on Thanksgiving you know like like I I want to see I want to see smash everywhere. <laughs> that's re that's really what I'm hoping. So, you know, we'll we'll see. We'll see. It uh Yeah, cuz I mean the last big one, they did a lot of big commercials for Odyssey. I think that was probably the last big campaign push they had, right? Yeah. <laughs> I would say so. Yeah, that was probably the biggest so. the biggest one. And look at what it I mean, look at the sales of that game, right? It panned out for them. So, hopefully the same is true with uh, with smash so let's uh let's let's put a bow on this thing man where can we uh where can we find you uh you guys can find me on twitter night nightcrawler 724 nightcrawler is the e also twitch uh twitch.tv uh slash nightcrawler 724 uh and then the biggest place is just on josh's discord like you mentioned uh n64josh.com slash discord that'll get you an instant invite into the discord come say hello You'll probably have about ten other people greeting you when you when you walk in the door. So be ready for that, and uh, we'll see you there. Right on, man, guys. If you want to follow me, you can go to uh, it's at n64josh on Twitter. The uh, song you're hearing right now is the Metal Melee theme, and you go to n64josh.com/slash/metalmelee. You can check it out. The uh, the the guy that wrote this or that that covered this, he just shreds on guitar, so it's really really cool. So check that out. If you want to get yourself a free book from Audible, go to audibletrial.com slash SBC. Pick up Console Wars or Ready Player One. There's some good stuff there. The chair I'm sitting in from OPC. You go to n64josh.com slash OPC. You automatically save $10 at checkout. And right now, all chairs for this weekend. You only got this weekend. $50 off and free shipping. So it is a great, great uh, deal. Like, don't, don't miss it. That's n64josh.com slash OPC. Guys, in the show notes, which you can find at n64josh.com slash sbc32, we got all kinds of, of different resources. How to get good, uh, uh, Smashboard's beginner guide. Like, I got links to all these things. Go go check them out. There's, there's a ton of resources there. And, uh, you know, even if you're only playing on 3DS, like, work on that neutral game. Work on on chipping away at somebody's, at somebody's percentage, you know? Like... There's 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 a lot you can do. Even just a fighting game in general, you're going to like it's going to help start getting you prepped for Smash. That's it. Thanks guys for listening. We'll see you in the next one.